Before I explain to you the one ideology that ruined dating for men in the West, let me share with you the perspective of a Chinese friend. He says that this one ideology killed all the joy, happiness, and commitment in marriages between Caucasian men and women. He says that when women demand equal pay and equal rights, which by the way they already have and need more rights, they have a hard time finding a man to marry. Ghost has earned a mention for their accomplishments. He told them that anything a man can do, a woman can do better, and he likes to stand up. This may be one of the funniest comments I've seen in a while, because he has such a good sense of humor. Who said that an 18-year-old girl gets pregnant by some thug who ghosts her, and she becomes a single mother. Yoshi said that being a teen mom is empowering, because you still have a girl of 18 years old who gets pregnant and marries the father of the child because he wants to be involved in her child's life. It's interesting to see how society has a massive double standard regarding young women who choose to become mothers. You're too young to be a housewife, and you need to get an education so you can enjoy your 20s and succeed in this world. The establishment despises strong families, which is why it actually makes sense when you think about it. Yoshi the Ray Fainer, your assessment is spot on. You've stated the obvious in situations like that. Thank you very much. Encourage us to make our videos and talk about the outrageous double standards that today's society has, please. As always, guys, I will choose one comment from each video. It could be the funniest, the most lighthearted, or the one that touched me the most, so don't forget to leave a comment. If you are a conscious man, then you don't buy narratives that claim that women are oppressed and men are the oppressors. At least in the Western world, anyone who says so is just out of their mind and living in a whole different world. Society does not care about men's struggles, and the thought that men are privileged just for being men is quite popular, even though it is far from reality and data proves that men suffer more heartbreak, depression, suicide death, and other negative outcomes than women do. To wrap things up, let me tell you a story that ought to allay any remaining concerns you might have. The fact that she was out to dinner with a large group of her female friends gives her, in my opinion, the right to express an opinion that makes her feel bad for men, despite the fact that she is a woman. When 8th grade was over, she took her Spanish class on a field trip to St. Augustine, Florida. They returned from their museum visit and found themselves at a Mexican restaurant staffed by young, good-looking men. All the young women at the table dropped their silverware on purpose to see if the boys would bend down to pick it up, and some of them even whistled softly as they went. She saw how uneasy they were but knew they had to put up with the teen's presence. The decline of morals in today's world has led to the near eradication of once ubiquitous positive traits like politeness, honesty, and respect. I can assure you that the wait staff did not receive any gratuity from those girls. I'm not saying that these girls are causing men to leave the dating marketplace because there is not a single decent grown-up man who is going to flirt with teenagers. However, later on, these teenagers become young women, and due to all of the school and media brainwashing they receive, they feel as though they can do whatever they want without facing any consequences. Now let's consider a second significant factor that will bring us to the one ideology that has caused several men to become single. This one ideology defends the idea that all men are potential criminals and simple acts like talking to a woman or flirting are considered assault. Look, we have reached a point in history when if you hear one, you know you better get out. This means that if at any point a woman says no to an advance you make as a man then the best policy is to back off. In other words, women who make it seem like they are difficult to get are employing a losing strategy, considering that many men out there are like me. My second rule is that you should never date a co-worker, and you should also try to avoid being alone with a woman in a professional setting. However, the last rule is applicable in any situation. However, I will tell you that certain religions teach that a man and a woman should never be alone in a room because the third person in the room is the devil. The devil could refer to the government coming after you for being falsely accused, or it could even refer to the perpetuation of the gods. Bear that in mind. Basically, I know where I'd eat, and I never want a relationship turning bad to affect my future. In addition, I avoid any hint of impropriety from the outside. How do I protect myself from any potential harm? This might mean that I will decline the offer of mentoring a female co-worker, but I know that just an accusation of impropriety is enough to ruin my life. I see many men going through this pain, so I don't feel like suffering that too, given the current state of the world. This particular ideology may sound appealing due to the fact that its name suggests liberty, but this is only the case if you are somewhat naive. 
In the past, traditional liberals fought against tyrannical governments that prevented the citizens from prospering and enacted laws that only favored the nobility and their friends. This idea has been criminally polluted, and as a result, you see liberal parties all over the world implementing policies that have little to do with freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and even freedom of thought are restricted. Saying something against the social climate or expressing an opinion that is contrary. The terms patriarchy and misogyny are nothing more than a few words that they use to dismiss anyone whose agendas are not in line with their own. This one ideology is causing men to lose faith in good women and go overseas to find better women who don't subscribe to narratives that only treat men as the culprits of all evil. Unfortunately, this panorama does not seem to be changing anytime soon, but as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. I'm not going to go that deep because politics is just another hologram in the Matrix environment. You probably believe that dating is more difficult than it has ever been for men, but I disagree and would like to explain why. When a woman says she supports social justice, big government, and all that anti-freedom narratives, I get out of their signal and not having to deal with their misguided, self-victimizing mentality gives me lots of mental peace. In fact, no self-respecting man on the face of the planet would ever date a woman who hates freedom. Envy patronizes men. It does as well as disrespects and infantilizes women just as much, as far as I'm concerned. In dating, I have a strict no-feminist or social justice warrior policy. Not that I'm really trying to date right now. Most men have the same rule, just like most women probably have a no-insecurity rule. And coincidentally enough, both feminists and the betas who date them are both probably highly insecure. That's why I strongly encourage you to go solo and enjoy the benefits of building your confidence. I hope that not only tremendous success, but also happiness and freedom come your way. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Have you ever considered the possibility that the source of the issue is an idea that sounded promising but ended up being counterproductive? Are you still going your way in light of the current state of affairs in the West? Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the story and the lesson it attempted to teach you, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below that you have done so. After that, I will provide a response to your observation. Also, if you want more stories like this one to be published, please leave a comment below indicating that you want to see it happen.